Hi friends, welcome to my video. Today I am sharing a recipe for one of my favorite summer beverages. Things are really heating up here in Toronto and there's nothing quite like a refreshing lemonade on a hot day. Now this particular lemonade is inspired by an Egyptian beverage called lemon and mint. About a year ago, I went to Egypt for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Frenov was there for work, I was there mainly for food and friendship, I suppose, and everywhere that we went, restaurants had this delicious beverage on the menu, simply called lemon and mint. This became our go-to beverage every time we went to a restaurant. So that is the recipe I'll be sharing with you today. I hope you enjoy this and give it a try because it's different from a regular lemonade. It has a few unique ingredients thrown in there. So give this video a thumbs up and let's make the Egyptian inspired lemon and mint. If you don't count the water, this recipe uses only five ingredients. So quite literally, it's a handful of ingredients and all the ingredients are fairly accessible. We're gonna start off with some lemon. As you will notice, I have left the skin on the lemon. A lot of a lemon's flavor is actually in its skin. That's why lemon zest is in so many recipes. Next comes some sweetener. I'm using honey, but if you're vegan, you can use any other sweetener of your choice and a good knob of ginger. This is about a two inch piece. After that comes the mint. After all, this is lemon and mint and a handful of mint will do. Next comes a bit of cucumber and this is somewhat unexpected, but cucumber doesn't have much flavor of its own. After all, it's mostly water, but the cucumber is going to provide a very vibrant green color to this lemonade without affecting the flavor in any significant way. This beverage is best made in a blender, that way the blender does all of the work for you. So all you have to do is add your ingredients into your blender combined with the appropriate amount of water. In this case, I'm adding 1.2 liters of water or 1200 mils of water. And then I'm simply going to blend this until everything is well incorporated. That could be anywhere from a minute and a half to two minutes. And if you're using a transparent blender like mine, you'll be able to see when the ingredients go from coarsely blended to finely or smoothly blended. Here you can see the particles are very small. This is what you're looking for. At this point, you can taste the lemonade, check the level of sweetness and make any adjustments if you need to. It's far easier to make these adjustments while your lemonade is still in the blender. That way you can blitz it again to make sure that the honey or any other sweetener that you're using is incorporated. Now we can strain the lemonade using a muslin cloth. I actually got this from my local Asian market. It's called a stock broth cloth. <laughs> Wait, that, that doesn't sound right. It's a bag that you can put soup stock items in to make a stock, but it actually works really well for something like this. Any thin piece of cloth will do. It ensures that the pulp is separated from the liquid of your beverage. So you can fit this over a jug, pour everything through and squeeze out any excess liquid, trapping the pulp inside the muslin cloth bag. Now, could you make this lemonade using your juicer instead? Absolutely. I think you could juice all of the ingredients, then add the water and incorporate the honey. I do not like to clean my juicer. It has so many parts and pieces that it's quite a hassle, I'm sorry to say. So for me, the old fashioned method of straining this lemonade through a muslin cloth is fine for me. It requires far less effort on my part. It's, uh, it's a lot easier, in my opinion. Your lemonade is done once it is strained and of course it is best served chilled, maybe over ice. It has this beautiful, vibrant green color from the skin of the cucumber and a little bit from the mint as well. I really like that it doesn't taste like a typical lemonade. 
Of course, it has lemony notes, but it also has a bit of a punch from the ginger, and the mint makes it truly refreshing. I do hope that you try this, and if you do, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about this beverage. And of course, if there are any Egyptians watching, I would love to know whether you think I did a decent job of making this beverage. I know there are several versions of this drink, but if you liked it too, then give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'm going to share another one of my favorite summer drinks, so I hope to see you then. Stay tuned. Take care. Hope you're well. Bye-bye.